So we're going to start sitting, and we call this pose Sukhasana. So you, uh, Sukha means easy, asana means pose. So you want to sit so that you can sit upright in your top body. Some of you might need to move the ankles away to make that feel a bit more comfortable. And I just want you to, for a moment here, close your eyes. Feel your seat bones underneath you on the ground. Lightly press the right sit bone down and then the left. And allow your knees to fall open. And imagine there's a, a little bit of string on the crown of your head and it's growing the crown of your head up to the ceiling. And then slightly lift your chest too, like a proud chest. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth and draw your belly in slightly and your lower back in. And notice your breath. So first of all, just noticing it. Where's the air moving into your body? Where do you notice the body moving in? Slowly starting to guide the breath down into your belly on your inhale. So the belly expands slightly. And on your exhale, you draw it back in again. Like you're trying to squeeze the air out. Resist breathing into your chest and instead breathe into your belly. And this is tricky when you're new at dance. Slowing the breath down, slowing the mind down, and bring your attention onto a single thought. Do this to find grounding, to find stillness at the beginning of practice that may in places be strong. We want to be as soothed as we can before we start. Everybody exhale, open your eyes. Inhale and just lift your gaze a little and reset your posture. Bring the hands to the heart and just set yourself a little intention for your practice for something positive, something pleasant. And maybe it's just for the next 10 minutes, maybe it's for the, the whole day, up to you. But breathe it and mean it. Relax the knees again. And then just take your hands into your lap and we'll start with some mobility movements in the head and shoulders. So imagining you have a felt tip on the end of your nose, you're just going to start drawing some circles, little circles in your head. And those circles can get bigger as per how your neck feels. So a little bit of crunching is okay, but there should be no pain. Really small more circles. And then bring it back to the center. Blink a few times if you've gone a little lightheaded or feel a bit dizzy. And then start small again, different color pencil that time. Good. With this and with anything we do from here onwards, be mindful to be in your own body. I can't be in there to see whether it's good for you or not. So often with yoga lessons, you know. And over time, you can build more strength, more flexibility. Come back to the center. Again, blink if you need to. Keeping your head fairly central, sitting nice and tall, keeping the shoulders down, you're just going to take your left ear to your left shoulder. Feel a nice stretch in your neck, and then inhale up, and exhale, move away. 
Inhale up. Go again. This time take the opposite shoulder blade back and down a bit more. So it transfers the stretch in the neck to a different of important muscle. You come up and then go the other way. Again, opposite shoulder blade back and down. And then inhale up. Good. And then shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Make a little nest with the back of your head. And exhale, release. And do that twice more. Inhale. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. Exhale. Lovely. Just because we've been sitting here a while, you're just going to cross your legs up the other way, the more uncomfortable way. Sometimes it can be helpful to sit on a block or a cushion if you're finding it tricky. And that will just make it feel easier. Okay, so moving into the shoulders a bit more. You're going to take the arms out wide. Turn one thumb up, one thumb down, and then swap sides. Good, yeah, good. So imagine you're being stretched from underneath the rib cage out to your fingers. Keep moving into the rotator cuff of your shoulder. Be gentle. This reminds me of the walk like an Egyptian song. Good, really stretch to the sides as well as turning the hands. And then relax that down and just shake it out a little bit. Shake your hands, bind up your fingers and shake the tree one way. And then the other, I find it very hard to turn that around and go the other way. Good. And just warming up our fingers, just like we did last time, really important for blindness. Just flick the hands out and release. Flick and release. No tickling, proper flicking. And then you're just going to do that and get faster and faster. This is going to warm up your forearms and it also is really good for the joints in your hands. So try and make the movement happen from the wrist rather than the shoulders. Flick, 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 flick. And get faster and faster and faster. No tickling. Definite flicking. You should feel a little burn in your fingers and even in your forearms. It's really good for you. Good, a little bit more. See if you can keep going, even through the burn. <laughs> I'm seeing some faces right next to me here. Good, and then release. And just feel the burn, the energy in your hands there. I realize this should really be used as an energy. And then take the hands out wide. You're going to stop the traffic with your fingers. So you're pulling the fingers back to the wrist. Good. So you're going to now circle the arms forward. And if you want, keeping the shoulders low, you can make those circles as big as it feels good. And then come back, make fists, draw the fists to your wrists. Remember you're still radiating out from underneath the armpits and the chest, not just in your arms. And then you're going to move circles in the opposite direction. So whichever one you didn't do last time. Start small, and then when you feel ready, you can start pulling slightly and get bigger. But again, make sure that works for you. Good. And you're moving always like you're moving through treacle. So there's a little bit of resistance in your body. Good. And then relax. And just wiggle your arms, wiggle your shoulders, and just let some of that energy go. Just a couple more things here with your shoulders. You're going to take the hands down by the sides of your body. Imagine you've got some of those mysterious guys, the flower one in each hand. And the, ha the flower is drawing your hands down to the earth, taking your shoulder blades down with it. So the chest stays lifted, the belly is strong, and the hands are drawing the shoulder blades, the, the, the triangles at the back of the body, down towards the Release. You're going to bind up your fingers and just push through the back body here. So, in this instance, you're trying to round the back back a little bit. Good. Feel good. <laughs> and then inhale, take the hands behind you, lift the chest up. Good. So, try not to lean back on the hands, instead, just use them to guide the chest forward and up. Good. 
Stay where you are. You're going to inhale, take the arms up. So this is where you learn to switch the whole body on. You're going to push down through the seat, lift the little fingers up towards the ceiling. Drop the shoulder blades right down your back so you make space. But continue to lift. And your whole body, your whole core is switched on. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, take the left hand down and lean over. Inhale up and exhale, go the other way. Inhale, come up. This time, take your right hand to your left knee, back hand behind you. Lift the heart up and take a little twist. Nice. Then leave the hand on the knee and bring the back arm up and over. And then bring the arms one on top of the other. Slide them around so you can give yourself a hug. Give yourself a hug. And then lift the elbows up. So you're stretching out the front of the shoulders. Keep the shoulder blades right down here. So it's just the elbows that you're stretching. And then bring the arms up. So the top elbow is still sat in the bottom arm. Stretch the fingers out. Some of you will need to stay there so the shoulders don't lift. Some of you can bond. Move the elbows away from your face and up. I'll just show you that from the side. Elbows move away from your face and up. Good. And breathe. <laughs> Smoothly breathing in. Smoothly breathing out. And then exhale. Open your wings, lift up. And bring the hands down to the heart. So we do all that again on the other side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Lean to the opposite side to last time. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go the other way. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist the opposite way around. The back hand is really good for lifting the chest up. Keep the head back so it doesn't fall onto the chest. And then inhale that back hand up and over. Breathing and breathing. And then bring the arms one on top of the other. And start to move the hands around to bring yourself a love. Drop the shoulder, but just lift the elbows up, stretching out the front. And then bring the arms up. Palms can be back to back, or you can bind. But either way, take the elbows away from your face and up. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. And one more inhale. And then exhale, open the arms and lift. And bring the hands back down to the heart. So we've warmed up and limbered up the shoulders lots now. We can come over onto our hands and knees. <clears throat> so, hands are underneath the shoulders. The hands are pushing down and lightly pushing out. The knees are under the hips. And you're pushing down through the shins and the tops of and the belly is strong, so the belly is not hanging down, nor is it lifted up to the mouth. It's really important here that you make a sturdy structure up one arm, across the back of your shoulder, and down the other. So I just want you to really firm that structure up. And then slowly, keeping the belly and the hips still, I just want you to bring the shoulder blades to touch. So you've got to drop the chest through, and then come up and spread the shoulders. Keep the arms straight when you do it. So you drop the chest, bring the shoulder blades to touch. And then bring the shoulders back up, spread the shoulder blades across your back. Almost as if you want to hug them around the sides of your ribs there. Drop the chest. And then come up. Nice. And then we're going to work through the whole spine. So we're going to drop every vertebra, including middle back and then lift the chest, shoulders move back towards the bottom and then starting with your tailbone you're going to curl it the other way, reach all the way up to the middle of your back so you get to your shoulders lap and look back between your knees. Keep the hands pressing down, inhale, try to uncurl the back, move from the bottom up towards the shoulders. Maybe you imagine dragging your hands towards your knees and then exhale, curl the tailbone. Turning back to a neutral position. Keep those hands nice and strong. You're going to take the right foot back behind you. 
Push through the heel as if you have a wall at the end of your leg. Push really firmly. And just check that you still have that sturdy structure in your hands, arms and shoulders. Push the left shin down and just lift that right foot up to the big shin. And then turn the toes into the centre line. And make sure everything stays the same as you lift your left arm forward. Good. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Pushing back and reaching forward. One more breath in. And then exhale, bring the elbow and the knee to touch. Push up through your shoulders. You've got to push down through this arm. Really big breathing in. Really big breathing out. And then inhale, one more reach. And exhale, take it down. Good. Stretch the left leg out. And nice. Getting a nice calf stretch and a stretch for the hamstring. Push down through the right leg, make the rest of your body super stable. Shoulders should never up by your ears, they're always back. Push down through the right shin, both hands, and lift the left leg up. Make sure the toes are not turning out. Make sure the hips are in line. Good. Super strong in your tummy. Lift the right, right arm up. Inhaling. And exhale, make it up. Remember you're trying to reach and get long as long as you can. And then bring the elbow and knee to touch. Push up through the shoulders. Staying here for three breaths. And then take everything down. Sit back on your heels. Uh, be on the tops of your feet. And just circle the wrist one way. And then the other. You can come to this position now, any point in the class that you feel like you need to direct things to chin and speak to the wrist. Coming back up, speaking of wrist, keeping the hand, fingertips facing forwards, you're just going to move now, little circle. You don't want to go too far forward in front of your hands, of your shoulder, just enough to feel like you're limbering the neck. One way. And then turn the hands, fingers facing inwards. Straighten up the arms again. Circle the other way. Go only a little way so you're aware of what your body can take and what your wrist can cope with. And then turn the hands outwards so the fingers face out. Again, circling, being really mindful. This is also just working into the hips a little bit, so have a sense that you're moving the hips. And then the last one, fingers face forward towards your knees. <laughs> Be mindful that the shoulders, so the hands are shoulder distance apart, so keep your shoulders in space, and then make sure the shoulders are not punched up by your ears. And just a little shove. This time, tuck your toes, bring the hands up, and just circle the wrist. And we're just focusing on the wrists here and, and releasing that slight burn from moving them to take our attention away from our toes. And really important that climbers do this with their feet every day. You need to stretch the feet out all the time. And then coming back forward. Warming the shoulders up a bit more, preparing for some of the things we're going to move on to. You're going to start to just move your hips forward. Bend the elbows so that they rub along your ribs. And just come a little way down and then push back up again. Keep the feet really firm. Hands are shoulder distance. We're going to do four more of those. So you're going to inhale. Exhale, lower down. Just only ever go as far as the elbows of the shoulders and push up. And do as many, three more of those or up to three. One, two, three. Good. And again, just rest back. 
Okay. Coming forward. You're going to bend the knees, sorry, lower the hips, bend the elbows, and you're just going to hover now. Seeing if you can keep the shoulders in line with the hips, and then you're going to lie all the way down. Bind up the hands behind you, and lift up your chest, pushing your thighs and feet and hips into the ground, and then exhale it down. Inhale, do that again. Strengthen up the legs. This is back body. We need to warm up the core as well. Exhale. And then one more. Inhale. Exhale, take it down. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders. Little strength challenge for some of you, and others of you will move back through the knees. So I'll show you option one. You're going to tuck the toes, and you're going to push up to a low push up. Those of you who don't want to do that, you're just going to push back onto your knees. So, you tuck the toes and you push up into a low push up. Good. And then from there, up and back to downward dog. Good. So, downward dog, thinking about the hands first. Soften the knees, push the base of the thumb and the first finger into the ground. Imagine you're pushing the hands apart from each other. And then imagine you're pushing the shoulder blades apart from each other. Everybody bend the knees a little. Come up on your tippy toes and move the back of the thighs towards the back of the room you're in. Then lower one heel down only. And then swap sides. And try and do that with the breath. This is downward dog. Anyone ever tells you this is a resting pose, don't believe them. It's a card work. And then inhale, look forward towards your hands. And exhale, just move your feet to behind your hands and fold. So you bend the knees and the back stays nice and flat, or as flat as you can get it. So the belly is on the thigh. Release your hands and fold your arms. Just hang out here. Let the head go. Make sure you can shake it. Yes or no. And then bend the knees. Take the arms back behind you. So you're like a sort of skier. And then lift up as if someone's lifting you up from the chest. Push the heels down. Lift the arms all the way up. And exhale. Bring the hands to your chest. Close your eyes. Push your feet down. Find a neutral position with your pelvis so it's neither kicked out behind you or tucked under. It's in the middle somewhere. Shoulders are relaxed. Just see if you can find your heartbeat. And reset your breath. Or inhale. Exhale, release your chin to your chest and open your eyes. Relax your hands. Inhale, lift yourself into that mountain pose for that hand. Exhale here. And then inhale, lift the arms up. Find up all the fingers except the first finger and lean in one direction. It doesn't matter which. But keep the feet evenly pressed together. Inhale up. Lean the other way. Inhale. Exhale. You're going to bring the arms forward and see if you can squat down. Your toes might come up, okay? Your heels even. And then inhale. Come all the way up and keep the arms in line with the shoulders. But stay forward. Take the arms to the side. Arms are straight. Hips are forward. Inhale. Exhale. Go the other way. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, come all the way up. And then exhale, you're going to fold forward. So you hinge at the hips, bend the knees, and take the hands to the ground. Let your head go. 
Inhale, slide the hands up and lift the chest so that you come into almost a sort of back bend. Exhale, take the hands down. Step back to plank. The so bottom is low, heels are active, heart is forward, and that structure with the arms is still there. Everybody's going to rock forward onto the tippy toe and then rock back. Inhale, forward onto the tippy toe and then rock back. Everybody come forward on the tippy toe, but take the knees down and then lower the shoulders like you did before. Elbows in, squeezing against the ribs, hold it there. And then lie down, inhale up to Santa Cobra. So the hands stay over your shoulders. Bring the elbows in, squeeze the, the shoulder blades together. And exhale. And either push back through your knees or come up to that low press up and up back to down dog. We're all meeting down dog. And breathe. Inhale, lift the right leg up in the air. Exhale, bend that knee, bring it forward to your nose. Push up through your shoulder. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, arms again. You can try to keep it. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, keep the back foot up on your toes. Bring that knee to your nose and step it forward to your right hand. Good. Shuffle it there if you need to. Make sure the knee is over the ankle. Keeping that nice and sturdy, you're going to inhale and lift your torso up. Lift the arms up. Good. Push through the back heel. Good. You're going to take your right arm behind your head. Stroke the tricep up. Take the left arm up your back and see if you can meet. Just don't let the neck become sweaty. So it doesn't matter if you can't meet the fingers, just stay here. And then exhale, push through the back here, but start to fold forward, bringing your torso inside your front knee. Slowly, with stability in that front knee, come up. Relax the arms. Take them out to the side. And then take the hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Walk the dog a little bit. Rest if you need to. Shake out your shoulders if you need to. Left leg up in the air. Bend the knee, bring it forward to your nose. Push up through your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, and again. Inhale. Exhale, bring it forward. Keep your hips high and step it like you're trying to step over hot coals. Bringing the foot forward, shuffle it there if you need to. So here you're in a lunge. And then you're very slowly keeping the legs stable. Gonna lift your chest and heart back. Shoulders over the hips, front knee bent. Inhale the arms up. Good. Breathe. So lots of core work to keep you stable. Drop the left hand behind your head or you want to be back of your neck. But make sure you don't crunch the neck down. And then take your other arm around and up. It doesn't matter if you can't find it, it will be different on different sides. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, maybe you start to fold forward. You can also just grab clothes here, whatever you need. Or you can completely release the hands and shoulders if it doesn't feel good. Keep the chest moving forward and try to come inside that left leg without letting the hips move out. Easy in, easy out. And then inhale with stability in that front leg if you find you get super strong. Lift the arms up, take them out to the side. Good. Exhale, take your hands down. So a little challenge for you now, if you're happy on your knees moving to the ground, do that. Or join me in coming forward on your toes, bending your elbows inside along your ribs if you need to that low, that low plank. Push back through your heel briefly, 
and then push through onto the tops of your feet and bring your chest up and through. So be on the tops of your feet, untuck the toes. Have a look at mine. Good. Lift the chest, lift the thighs. Breathing here, this is upward facing dog. Open the chest, move the upper arm bones back. And then imagine you're being sky lifted from the waistband and lift up and back to downward dog. Then walk the dog a little and rest on your knees if you want to. Now, if that's all too much for the shoulders to the fall, then you can do all of that by moving through the knees, staying low in center. One more breath here. Exhale. And then inhale, look forward, step and jump your feet forward up to you. Lift the heart and exhale, fold them. Bend the knees, take the arms back, push through the heels, and come all the way up. Lift up, let's add a little back bend up, and exhale down through the heart center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, unfold forward. Inhale, lift and rest. Exhale, now step or jump back to plank. Step in his front. Inhale, moving onto your toes, tippy toes. Exhaling, lowering down into that low push up or to the floor. Inhale, through and up. Stay low in that cobra will come up to the upper jog at the chest to engage the body. Exhale, lift up. Turn your left toes out just a little bit at a diagonal. Bring the right foot forward. And inhale, push into that back foot. Come all the way up to warrior one. So back heel is down on the ground. And you're turning your hips towards the short end of your mat. Good. And then bring your hands down and bind up your fingers, lifting the chest up, lifting, but keeping the knee moving forward. Smoothly breathing in, smoothly breathing out. Moving that hands and moving towards the back heel. One more breath in, and then exhale just like before, and then fall forward in humble warrior. This time you might bring your hands up and over. And then inhale, come all the way up, lift the arms up. And exhale, take your hands down, step back to plank. Coming forward on your toes, coming onto the knees if you want to, otherwise lowering down. Coming through and up, lift the chest free, lift the heart up, and then lifting up and back. Do the other side, right toes out at an angle, left toes forward, and you're coming up to your warrior pose. So with these poses, you're always active in the feet, pushing back through the little toes, pushing down through the front leg to engage the knee, lift the arms up. Warrior one, here at Jasmine one. And then exhale, wind up the arms behind you. So you find the fingers and then you draw them down, but also back. And that helps you propel the chest up. Keep the tummy nice and strong. Well, and then exhale, fold forward. Try and keep the hips in the center line and try to bring the head down towards the ground. The arms can come up and over. Of course, you can let go of the arms at any point in any of these poses. And then inhale, come all the way up and back to the warrior pose. Lift the arms. Add a little back bend, keep a bend in the front knee, and exhale, take your hands down, step back, and again, lowering down, coming through and up. Any options here, welcome, and exhale back. Three breaths or resting on your knees, don't be afraid to rest.
and inhale, look forward. Step or jump your feet forward. Lift your heart, add a little back bend. And exhale, fold all the way down. Bend your knees, inhale, come up. And exhale, bring your hands up. Inhale, take a big step back with your right foot. Turn the back toes in and the right toes out. So your right toes are pointing towards the short edge of the mat and the back toes are angled in. You're going to inhale, lift the arms and exhale, bend the right knee. Good. Inhale, keep the heart lifted. And exhale, reach forward. Some of you will just take the arm on the knee. Make sure that knee is moving in the line of the ball of the toe. Good. So you lift the top arm up. For some of you, you'll be experienced enough or flexible enough to take the hands towards the floor. And again, lift the heart up. Those of you that want to work into the shoulders, take that top arm around behind you and onto that back thigh. As far as you can get it. Some of you will be able to wrap the bottom arm up and underneath and take that back wrist that goes through the legs and up the back. Yeah. And then work to bring the chest back up. It's completely fine though to stay with the hands on the ground or even on the Good. If you are managed to get the top wrist, you're pulling that wrist back towards your back thigh. This is a nice big hip opener, but it's excellent for the shoulders. Good. And then inhale, come up. Come all the way up and just turn your feet and go the other way. So you can take all the options here. Try it on both sides because it's different for each side. Keep the front foot super straight and then bend the front knee. Make sure the knee doesn't go over the ankle. And then you reach forward. First of all, take the form of the thigh, lift the chest up and back, and lift the top arm up. Use that arm against the thigh to push the knee back. Some of you will be able to sneak the hand towards the floor, as long as you can keep the chest lifted and the head back. Good. Stay breathing here. Front knee is super bent. And again, some of you will be able to work into the shoulders by taking the top hand back towards the thigh and the bottom arm underneath and you might catch the wrist. Some of you might start to lift the heart back up against the floor. So just take options that mean that you can still breathe. Good, and unravel and lift up. Come all the way up. Turn the feet towards each other, shift the heart, hands on the hips, and fold up the hips. Bend the knees, take the feet, uh, sorry, take the crown of the head towards the floor. You might take the hands underneath the shoulders, you might walk them back in line with the hips. Inhale, bring the hands underneath the shoulders again and chest, bring the chest up forward. Exhale your hands on your hips and inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, just turn now towards your right foot. Bring both hips in line with facing forwards. Imagine your feet are on the pedals of a bike, so they're slightly spread widthwise. And you're going to bring the hands up behind you. Now you might bring the hands up and just the elbows like this. And you might bring the hands up and bring them back to back. Some of you might be able to get what's called an elbow behind you. Whichever you've got, you're going to keep the chest lifted and start to fold forward. And you, both legs are straight and you're working to push off the back foot. Keep the chest leading forward across the collarbone. The legs are strong. Nice. A little bend in the front leg will release the hamstrings just enough to make them feel more accessible. And then each drop the gauge the tummy and come up strongly. Turn the feet and turn to face your left foot. Again, 
use the width of the mat. Just the heart, adjust your hands if you've had enough of whichever version you've got, and then work to push off the back foot and pull forward. Inhale, come all the way. Exhale, release your hands. Maybe circle the wrist. Good, just know that that feeling will fade and step back to the front of the mat. Good. Inhale, lift the arm up. Exhale, and fold forward. Inhale, lift and lift the arm Exhale, step or jump back to plank. Inhale, take your left hand a little bit further forward and then roll onto the outside of the left leg. Left foot. If this is too much for you, bring the right foot halfway up the mat. That will support the plank. If you're okay, you're going to lift the arm up and then you're going to exhale. You're going to take that top arm and twist it underneath the armpit. And then inhale up and exhale, post it underneath. Hug the shoulder blade towards the heels on the supporting arm. One more. Inhale. And then exhale, bring the hands down. Come into plank again. And roll the other way. Again, if you need a bit more support, bring the left foot up. And that will really help. Otherwise, lift the hips. Exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, hug the shoulder blade towards the heels, inhale, and exhale, and then we'll come back, come back to down dog, and then you're going to hop or jump your feet to a squat at the front of your mat. I'm just going to turn around so you can see. Turn the toes out. If you need to, come up on your heels and squat dog. Bring the hands inside the legs. Lift the chest. Use the arms against the knees to open up the hips. And stand out of the pose a little bit. So I lift the hips and lift the chest. Smoothly breathing in. Smoothly breathing out. We couldn't be working on arms and shoulder strength if we didn't try some arm balance. So do what you can here. Don't feel obliged to go too far into it. You're going to take your hands down to the mat in front of you. Try not to race. You're going to squeeze the knees onto the upper arms and you're going to push the arms back as well. Come up onto your tippy toes if you're not already. Now you have to imagine your balancing. So your head is going forward and your bottom is lifting up. But you need to look forward about two feet. And imagine you want to get your chest to that space. I'll just show you once and then you have a go. So you're lifting up, the bottom goes up, the head goes forward, pretty low to the ground, really. And then if you want, you can work to straighten it out. Have a go yourself. Keep the weight forward. You've got to go forward, not just down. Good. Nice. Once you've had one go, take a breath, because it's a lot of work in the claw and the thigh, and then have another go. But this time, try not to hold your breath while you're doing it. Look forward, remember to go forward, not just down. Squeeze those in. Literally. Nice. And then come back. Okay, so let's try one more arm balance. Bring the knees in together. Bring the hands to the heart. You're going to lift your hands up, baby, hands up, and twist one way or the other, it doesn't matter. Take the hands down now by the side of your body. The front hand, the one nearest your knee, is going to enable a connection between the upper arm and the knee. And you're going to slowly try to move your weight onto a bent arm, the front arm. 
Again, you have to look forward and move your weight. It's exactly the same thing. We lift up, bend the elbow. And come back. Squeeze everything in. Some people find this easier with both elbows in. So one connected at the hip as well. So you're balancing on both arms. Good. So you just got to balance, move slower. Inhale, come in. You can do that because you're in the right position. Hands up, over to the other side. So you take the hands down, you have to just move into the balance. It's not that strong, as, you, as is evidenced by the fact that I can talk all the way through it. It's about balance, moving the head forward, lifting the hip. Good. And then one more go. If you want to take both hands in, both the elbows in. And then come back and we sit down. Bring the feet together. There isn't that much longer to go. So we're going to start cooling down just a little bit. The feet are together, but they're not too close towards you. And you're just going to allow yourself to fold in. Hang out. Try and let the knees go. You can round your back here. Inhale, come up. Support your legs in. Give them a hand. And then you're going to slowly roll down. So, you can see where they are. You're going to move up and down a couple of times. So, you don't have to be too close to your bottom. This can be quite tricky. You're going to roll down a vertebra at a time with control. Take the arms up and over. And then, with the same smoothness, you're going to sit back up again. No swinging the arms or taking a big breath. So do that one more time. Slowly rolling down. That's the inhale. And then slowly rolling up on the exhale. Now if that's alright for you, you might now bring your feet in a little bit closer. Challenge yourself. Challenge your core. So inhale, still moving with the breath. And exhale. Challenge yourself, bring your feet in a bit more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. See if you can make it so that you can't do it. Inhale. Keep feeling. Exhale. <laughs> Good. And then bring yourself to lying down. Take the arms out wide, bring the knees in towards your chest. And you're just going to take the knees over to one side. Make sure there's no pinching in your back. If there is, just bring yourself back into the centre and instead the windscreen wiper. Otherwise, just staying there. And just allowing your body to just. Let your shoulders relax. Inhale, come back and go the other way.
Inhale, come back to the center. And you can just make any last movements there that feel good. So some people like to hug everything in. Circle the knees together to massage the lower back. Some people like to just do a little bit more stretching out. Whatever feels good for you. And then just take your feet, slide them down to the end of your mat and let the feet flop out to the side. Take them to the corner. Take the hands down by the side of your body. Pull your shoulder blades together and stretch out the back of you. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. And let your eyes be soft and close. And then just imagine that the floor is holding you up completely from the air. Let your breath just naturally flow. Just bring your awareness back to the room that you're in and to your breath. If you're starting to make your breath a bit more deliberate, you can move your fingers and your toes. Maybe circling your ankles, circling your hips. If the neck allows, you can move your head from side to side. And then bring your feet together, point them away from you. Bring your arms up over your head and take an almighty stretch on an inhale. And on an exhale, let it all go. <sighs> Bring one knee in towards you. Bring the other knee in and give yourself a, a squeeze. And then slowly roll onto your right side. 
Your eyes are still closed, just take a moment there just to look at them open and shut a few times just to get ready for them to open. In your own time, you can bring yourself back up to sit. And bring your hands to your chest center. Just bow your head, just looking down at your fingers to honor your strength, your motivation, and giving yourself thanks for showing up and looking after. And then open, uh, sorry, lift your gaze and we'll take a few energy breaths just to send you on your way for the rest of the day. So you're going to inhale, lift, uh, breathing through your nose, lift the arms and exhale through your mouth. And do that again. Exhale. And one more. Exhale. And we take a little bow to each other. Namaste. Everybody, well done. See you next time. <laughs>